Hello, I'm Garth, Production Manager at Lyman's Tests and Laboratories. Today we'll walk you through the steps for inspecting your blankets, line hose, and covers when in the field. We'll also review the steps taken when your equipment arrives at LTL for annual service. When working in the field, you need to feel confident that your PPE is performing as intended for the protection against accidental contact with energized apparatus. To ensure the electrical integrity of your PPE, it is important that you properly care for and maintain the insulated equipment. At LTL, our certified factory trained technicians provide the proper inspection and testing of your equipment to ensure your safety when on the job. Before we start, I wanted to talk about our NAIL accreditation for what that really means. NAIL for PET stands for North American Independent Laboratories for Protective Equipment Testing. As advocates for safety in the workplace, LTL is represented on the NAIL Board of Directors. NAIL is a nonprofit organization that helps develop uniformity in testing, working in close association with ASTM and ANSI. To maintain accreditation, regular audits are conducted to ensure all industry accepted standards are adhered to. Independent testing facilities operating without NAIL accreditation are not monitored to ensure industry best practices and standards are followed. To learn more about the difference between certification and accreditation, please visit our website at ltl.ca or contact your local LTL product specialist. As a nail accredited certified laboratory, we inspect and certify insulated blankets, line hose, and covers per applicable standards. PPE is to be inspected and tested annually per ASTM F478 and ASTM F479. When your PPE arrives at LTL, the equipment is checked in and recorded. It is then washed with a mild detergent and water and air dried. Electrical test is performed on blankets per ASTM F479 and the line hose and covers per ASTM F478. When the test is complete, the lab technician moves the PP to final. When in final inspection, blankets are inspected for punctures, cuts, corona cutting, and any obvious condition which would adversely affect the performance as per ASTM F479. The technician rolls the blanket over itself and on both sides to view all surfaces in search of cuts, foreign matter, ozone checking, dielectrical breakdowns. If any of these conditions are found, blankets are rejected. The technician circles the area with a black marker and writes the description of the defect and stamps the blanket with a defect stamp. Blankets passing visual inspections are stamped with an expiry date indicating next annual inspection and testing. Blankets are placed on a sheet of craft paper and rolled no more than six blankets per roll. Defect blankets are rolled separately. The outside of the paper is taped and marked with the customer name and work order number and the number of pieces. The interval between date of issue and retest shall be based on work practices and or company policy but shall not exceed one year. When inspecting the line hose, the hose is opened up and bent backwards and then forward the entire length of the line hose. The lab technician is looking for foreign matter, deep cuts, mold defects, chemical breakdown, and dielectrical failures. Insulating line hose and covers are inspected for punctures, cuts, severe ozone cutting, holes other than factory produced openings on the top sides or lips of the line hose or covers, tears and punctures, serious cuts, and rope or wire burns that extend more than one third the depth of the thickness of the rubber per ASTM F478 section 11.7.1. Texture changes, swelling, softening, hardening, and becoming sticky or inelastic. Other defects that damage the insulating properties and that would adversely affect performance. When leaving LTL, all your equipment is returned in near new condition. When in the field, it's the user's responsibility to properly care for and inspect equipment prior to each use for your protection from electric shock. 
Blankets, line hose, and covers are to be inspected visually for defects before use and at other times if there's reason to suspect any damage using the same inspection process as that we use in the lab. Be sure to remove any oil, grease, or other damaged substance as soon as possible. Use only a mild detergent if necessary. It's important that blankets, line hose, and covers are stored in a bag, box, container, or compartment that is designed specially for them and in a location that is cool, dark, and as dry as possible. The location shall be free from ozone chemicals, oils, and away from electrical discharges and sunlight. If you suspect your equipment is defective, remove from service and send to LTL accredited certified testing facility for your further inspection and testing. By following these steps, both in the field and in the lab, your PPE will be ready and safe to use. For questions, please contact your local LTL product specialist. And thank you for watching. Have a safe day.